And mahalo ho for tuning in. I'm David D. Hui, I'm Lena Girl. And joining us today is our principal of Kalihi Elementary, John Hamilton. How are you doing, John? Hey, how's it, guys? Right. Thank you for having us. You All know, the way from uh, Waimea on Hawaii Island. Yes, right? yes. Originally from Waimea and now in Kalihi. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Now, Kalihi Elementary is a beneficiary of your donations in the School Tools Campaign. And yesterday was Distribution Day there. Can you share with our viewers what yesterday really meant for you? So yesterday, I can only sum it up as a magical experience for both our students and our families. You know, to see the joy on their face of not just our students returning to school, but the parents. It's almost like a sigh of relief, right? That mm -hmm. they're being given this gift of school supplies. One less thing to worry about, yeah. right? And they're able to support their child in, you know, being prepared for the first day and being ready to learn. Yeah. So, magical day. We're really glad to be a part of it. For sure. So Chicken Skin, just uh, being able to interact with uh, the parents and the Kiki and handing out those backpacks, you could see uh, their faces light up, especially when you get one table full of backpacks and they're like, we, we like, which one you like? And they're like, <laughs> can we get the pink one? Absolutely, <laughs> grab whichever one you like. And then once the pink one is gone, now you get your choice in black. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think I had one pink one. But you know, uh, John, according to US News and World Report, uh, your school, as you know, is 100% minority enrollment. And about 84% of the students come from economically disadvantaged backgrounds. So education, as we know, is the first step to overcoming poverty. So while we're talking about uh, school supplies, backpacks, composition books, this means so much more for the Kalihi community, right? It's so true. Um, one of the big things that we believe is our vision of our school, which is strengthening the community. So having these right tools in the hands of our students is going to break down barriers for them. The more barriers that we break down, the more opportunities that we can afford our students in the classroom and yeah. so they can achieve alongside any of their peers in the state. Yeah, Absolutely. we're kind of, it's like leveling the, the playing field, right? Of course. Giving everybody a chance to learn. It's and a great grow. equalizer. Right? That, there, it's it is. a beautiful and, way. And when you think about Kalihi, I mean, we have so many um, luminaries that have come from that, that Kalihi area. You know, you got Emmy Tamingbong, you got uh, Augie, and just so many other names that, I mean, we really get famous people that came out of the community. My sister is at Navai Ho'olu, okay, yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. And they're all accomplished wahine. Yes. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know, our, that community does put out a lot of great people. But at the same time, we do have to understand the tough things that they yes. go through. And there's a great, uh, kind of like a little program that the school has called Plant Seeds for the Future. What, what's that all about? So our theme this year is actually, it's ulupono, which ulupono. is to grow yep. well, mm -hmm. right? And we want our students just like uh, plants, right? If we provide them with the right nutrients, the right water, right? They're going to grow well, not just in kindergarten, but first grade, second grade, and beyond. Yep. And so that starts with phonics, it starts with daily attendance, and just really uh, cherishing and developing positive relationships with our students. If our kids feel loved, they're going to come every day and they're going to learn and grow well. Yeah, they're going to want to be there. Yeah, yep. and Absolutely. that is the goal. 100%. I love that. If the, our kids feel loved, not if they, they feel like education, educated or any of that or stuff. Or accomplished. Just, or we want to bring them in, like make them. them feel like they're part of Ohana. So, I mean, because it is a, is a greater ohana. We got a chance again yesterday to kind of witness that and, and hand out those supplies. And then we got to hand out pizza from Domino's Pizza and then drinks from um, Itoen, mm -hmm. Aloha Made, and then we had the, the bread Hawaii and milk. Hawaii Food Service Alliance stepped yeah. in. It was beautiful. Does it make, how does it make you feel like all of these people coming together to help uh, you guys in a, in, on distribution there? You know, it goes back to that proverb of uh, it takes a village to raise a child, mm -hmm. right? And to have all of us come there to support and celebrate the keiki coming into our school, getting them prepared for the school year. Magical experience. I couldn't think of a better way to start the school year than honoring them and getting them prepared. Uta. I love that. And I'm super excited about your folks' theme of Ulupono. Maybe that's something that we need to adopt here at KITV um, and also in your own homes as well. Ulupono, not just growing up, but growing up good. Yeah, right? 100%. John Hamilton is the principal of Kalihi Elementary School. And if you haven't made a donation yet to our School Tools campaign, we got that QR code right up on your screen. Again, you can make from $35 up. It, it, it's it's again uh, just another way for us to uh, alleviate some of that pressure from some of our families who are you struggling. know yeah they're struggling they're, they're thinking about paying rent versus buying school supplies so this is our way to help our kick in john we thank you for your leadership thank, thank you, you guys. Guys. elementary and thank you for stopping by Mahalo. all right we're gonna